uh, we have this uh, keywords like constant and volatile Correct. so are they considered as data types or would, uh, would they add value to the data type or they are also the specifiers volatile and const they are also type specifiers and okay. one more question from constant is like i have declared a variable locally uh, as a constant variable with integer and okay. uh, as a sco- as the function of an constant it, it should not change any value during the execution mm, yes and, uh, and as per it a uh, variable it store like a constant will store in a read only memory or a random access memory that uh, can you please explain all the things will be stored in read only memory uh, sorry random access memory ram uh, then how would it uh, have the access after uh... it's just that the compiler will make the code in such a way that you will not be able to modify that value the compiler will only take uh, care about it i think it. the core notion which you are getting the question in that you have a notion that the anything which is stored in ram can be modified mm. by the code it's not so it is a, yeah it is a temporary memory uh, whenever there is a power it is a non volatile it is a volatile memory not a temporary memory just yes, that's what volatile memory it's whenever there is a power the memory will be remain and if power is gone the yes, memory will go correct and your yeah. program also will go when the power is gone that's true correct so, so you uh, can consider it as as the life cycle time of the constant is at least equal to the lifetime of the program if you mm-hmm. think the ram memory is volatile and and, and temp- because of its volatility it is a temporary memory mm-hmm. then the program also is a temporary one but we say constant store in read only memory no the constants are not writable that's true correct mm. read only memory means a memory access type can a memory can only be read read or can a memory be read and modified if you are able to read and modify it then it is called as a variable because the value of that memory can be mm. varied it is variable okay. right otherwise it is read only the memory of a constant is a read only it is not that it is present in read only memory and by saying in rom okay okay it with the storage yeah yeah correct i got Where it it is stored that memory access is made as read only <laughs> even to the effect that okay i'll be explaining this uh read only memory uh, this constant in next but let's say you are having giving this constant c equal to uh, 34 okay i'll comment this out and i'll try to run it yeah so 34 is printed constant int integer the specify this constant and you are trying to print that c here and 34 is printed but let's say you don't want to you just define it here and not initialize it and you try to initialize it here the same value 34 here you just define you are not initializing anything the constant here you are trying to initialize and now if you try to run it gives an error why because you don't initialize anything you are trying to modify it but if you don't initialize anything it doesn't mean it is in uninitialized it means that depending on underlying compiler it will be either initialized with a zero or initialized mm-hmm. with a junk value right depends on compiler okay. that one right so if i comment it out and now try to run the program yeah zero has come here because here even though i am not made so it is like you are trying to modify the value of this constant which is now zero mm-hmm. so in 
for a constant one of the thing which you have to remember is if you want to make a constant then the value has to be given in the declaration only initialization with declaration for constant int you cannot declare and then initialize put the value of constant okay uh, can i say this co this constant int stored in data segment uh, as per uh, uh, the code the, these are stored in data segments itself because this is a data okay uh, that's what i have a little confusion in between this small if i take some user defined function uh, if i declare same constant in c will it be uh, still remain in data segment or locally in the stack after function call everything will be erased right so will it be still in data segment or when the function is when the function call over it will remove from the stack it will remove from the stack then the constant in to define the scope of the uh, variable yes. type okay there are various properties the scope of the variable the mm -hmm. lifetime of a variable and the okay. access of the variable okay const talks about the access storage classes talks about the scope and lifetime and data types talks about the memory size for that and the how value has to be interpreted right so since yes. you are making it as a constant the access type is defined as read only doesn't mean read only memory the access type of the memory where this variable where this c is stored that is made as read only and hence c and hence it is a constant internally yes. c if somebody ask you whether c is a variable or not if you are talking about in a generic way c is a constant but mm -hmm. the compiler treats it as a variable it is handled as a variable it is written as a variable but the moment it is written the access type of the memory in which it is stored is made as read only so that the variable cannot vary anymore what is the meaning of data type data type is a property of a variable right just by making it as a const you can say that the variable the memory location in which the variable is written is not variable anymore not able to vary anymore so you say it is not a variable it is a constant but does the underlying compiler handle it as a constant no it handles exactly as a variable would be handled if i make a integer as c as a variable and in the whole program i don't change the value of c then it's also acting as a constant only right just that i'm forcing the memory address access type as unalterable or unable to vary and hence removing the variable feature of this variable right so the point i am trying to make is you think of const as a keyword and what the keyword is having an impact on the underlying compiler underlying memory and by making understand of that any kind of question thrown at you you will be able to work it out because the way of you thinking will be changed exactly as the underlying compiler would actually run the code just don't make up of the rules in your mind just understand what the const is going to have an impact on the underlying processor and what kind of impact will it create so if you normally understand trying to understand const then you will think it is there are two types of things one is variable and constant the way constant is it have behaves differently no the compiler handles both as same const just changes a feature or a property of the underlying memory where this will be stored whether can you vary the uh, uh, memory location where this is stored no not anymore then all the answers will be easy whatever question comes to you based on constant
I'm similar to you are volatile, right? Yeah. So, Thanks, Yam. Yeah. I got it clearly. Thank you. Okay, guys. So today we try to cover the topics of uh, data types and type specifiers, and uh, we touched upon the constant part also of the. Um, Story uh, of this type specifiers. Uh, volatile. I'll talk about it now. Is it okay if I move to this volatile part? Constantly, people understood. One of the major uh, part of the uh, number one question asked in embedded C interviews is what is volatile, according to many. Uh, reviews and uh, statistics. Number one question, mostly asked questions. What is volatile? And many times people, when they hear volatile, the thing which comes to their mind is volatile memory and non-volatile memory. The word keyword volatile has got nothing to do with the volatile memory and non-volatile memory. Ram and ROM, no. Volatile is a keyword obviously and it has a special meaning to it so what does volatile do to a c program in a c program okay volatile if i make this language as c it turns the color right what does it mean? It's a keyword. What does it do? Volatile is a keyword which will force the underlying compiler to stop doing the optimization which it was trying to do. So the memory, the variable, let's say like volatile int a, if I make, then whenever I am trying to read a in the code, let's say like a equal to a, a equal to 5 or a or b equal to a plus 10 something like this then whenever i'm trying to access a then it will try to force reading it from that memory itself and not optimize it this is a general uh, concept general answer general thing which will be told in various websites whenever the people ask about volatile but how much does you re people really understand what that means? And does it even make sense? If I don't use volatile here, okay? And I'm giving the value as like somewhere in the program, I'll be at B equal to A plus three, okay? Somewhere in the code down here, something is there. And down, okay? Now, does it not take from the memory where A is stored only? Does it try to take from somewhere else? What's the meaning? What's the volatile doing here? Can anybody answer? Hmm? If we declare a data as a volatile, it will take data from RAM memory instead of caches. Uh, uh, why? To stop the optimization of. If I say that my controller doesn't have cache memory, can I skip using volatile in, in my programs? Mm. In my underlying under controller, uh, microcontroller, I don't have cache. Mm -hmm. uh, no. Yeah. Yeah, what happened uh, if you are using the volatile, uh, mm -hmm. uh, for example, in that uh, memory uh, uh, address is constant, like whatever we are uh, in that memory, it's, it's directly taken from the memory, it, memory is not okay. changed in time. So if you are not using the volatile, what happened, uh, for example, int a is there, uh, we can somewhat uh, will be increment or we can add uh, 
had had up that any values so it's what happen here uh, it uh, int a is there some or some different memory location is the next step we can increment the value it will be added add up in uh, different memory location uh, that's why uh, we are using volatile so we can access for from the particular memory location that for example we can assign the address location to one sensor so the mm -hmm. sensor value should auto it's uh, it will be changing some uh, it will be updated value from the particular memory location so okay. that's why we are using the volatile basically so and with uh, somewhat uh, global variable also we can update it purpose we are using the volatile uh, uh, keyword so mainly it provides a uh, shared memory access right uh not shared memory shared memory is a different concept altogether mm, sure Sam, uh, here the uh, access also it is uh, depends upon the function of the scope right like if you declare it locally the scope of this uh, volatile will be volatile has got function. nothing to do with the scope okay. it's completely your uh, uh, storage classes Okay. Uh, and with if you are using for uh, interrupt usage purpose also we are using the uh, volatile mainly so why interrupts yes interrupts why you go for volatile so if you are not using the volatile that memory is not constant of the that particular that's why we are using the uh, yeah, volatile in the, in the the particular volatile keyword uh sham i have a other understanding like once we use the any qualifier like volatile const whatever maybe the higher level high level language whatever we write the code ultimately finally it will be converted into the binaries and it will be loaded into the target so there is no relation between the compiler or the language once after flashing into the target so the code will be running in the target mm -hmm. okay and there uh, i don't know exactly there must be some mechanism for, for accessing the memory location where the a is stored int a is stored uh, so that uh, it make makes it as a volatile or a const that is okay. what i am understanding uh, can you tell volatile and const uh, what do you how do i use a now a is just a variable which we had written in the high level language so once Correct. uh that is a, a variable uh, int is also a data type and volatile is also a qualifier so right. these are all the things we just tell to the uh, compiler just uh, to the compiler nothing to do with the memory La later on when it's uh, once after flashing the binary to the memory there the actual part comes into the picture so how the okay. in the code if i see wherever volatile is used if i see the code will i get to know by seeing the code that where does this a is sitting ah that, that is what uh, my i am i don't know the exact there must be some mechanism to access that memory location there is a, some different this is a different mechanism it's not like a normal int a it is a volatile int a there must be some different mechanism to access that particular a variable mm -hmm. that is what my understanding but actually i also i to don't know what is the, exactly how it will be operating inside the chip or inside an embedded target okay now The, the next volatile question uh, is, keyword, the volatile data type will be stored in uh, hardware part. So the uh, data will be taken from directly hardware instead of memory. What do you mean by hardware? A memory hardware is a place is, uh, where uh, something uh, is registers, stored. Registers, uh, microcontroller uh, registers. Okay, then why do you use a register external storage? External register storage is, classes user. are auto register extern static. that whatever you are telling it is for register keyword storage class how is it got anything to do with your volatile okay and the qualifiers are what are the two qualifiers which you told volatile and const const right so what is relation between these two why these two things are like 
two phases of a same coin you can say right if i am talking about int and char and float then there is a relation because they are data types right what if they talk about the size of a variable and the way it is handled as a variable like that what is this thing which defines something with volatile or what is that which which is differentiating volatile and const you should have like some x, x thing like this x thing is there the property of this x thing if you make it as volatile this will be the property if you make it as const this will be the property these two property so volatile or const talks about this property of this x something like this should be there and what is the meaning of qualifier there and so i am trying to raise various questions whenever these things comes and then we will try to answer them right and next question which comes to mind is everybody says volatile whenever you are using volatile it stops the compiler from doing optimization what is the meaning of optimization and how is it stopping it can anybody define what such optimization people are talking about when they say it stops compiler from optimizing like optimization is like uh, it's improving the performance of the code uh, making it fast processing because of uh, some variables which store some value and repeatedly if you are accessing the same variable in order to uh, get the same variable from the memory directly just that, that will take a long process like it will take some process but the cpu will store in cache and it will give you that uh, uh, value whenever you need in the program so so that way we can say it is optimized so, so are you saying fast. that if i don't put volatile here and just define it as int where there is a probability or a chance that this variable will be allocated in cache memory instead of normal ram ah uh, no that's Maybe not true it may get uh, allocated in caches also okay I'm so not, if i just uh, see this line of the it. code Uh, if mm -hmm. i'm just seeing this line of code then till this you are very sure that whatever memory location or if you say ampersand of where right this part ampersand of where means mm -hmm. address where where will be allocated right mm -hmm. lies in the ram only yes right it yes. lies in the ram itself then what's the point why people keep saying cache cache when does it go to cache whenever where is referred let's say in the program you are using where multiple times are you saying this a similar copy of where called as like this will not be visible for us but where copy something like this will be created in cache and there only uh, you will keep on updating that value and all does it does that is a meaning of optimization and if you are making it as volatile this copy will not be created is that a meaning uh yes i'm very near same okay but that is not true that is the biggest misconception which is present in the industry it is not possible it is possible uh, in terms of only your normal uh, uh this one what uh, uh pc okay that optimization also is considered but if i am saying that my controller doesn't have a cache memory then also is a necessary to you to use volatile will be gone or no it won't be gone right there will be a necessity to use volatile what is what is that necessity i have taken away your uh explanation of using cache by saying that my microcontroller doesn't have a cache in itself 
why would i use volatile even then uh allo sham uh, for example here volatile int a is there right so here uh, one address location is already uh, reserved for uh, int a okay na yes. so so next time what happen uh, if it is, uh, uh, okay if it is there okay uh, for example b a equal to a plus 3 whatever the values updated in a memory location it will be a uh, comes to the year on this picture b equal to a plus 3 okay na so if it is not using the volatile uh, what happen uh, only int a uh, int a is there int a means it will be showing some one one address location in next step b equal to a plus 3 so in that a it will be taken for one more uh, it, it will be optimized optimized means it will be uh, moved to one one memory location to another so okay, like that so let us see uh, here when this a is multiple used we say that here you are having a cache memory here you are making uh oh, cache no, a stack a memory equal to a equal to uh, 35 okay okay Your yes one. and read many things many times many times many times and not only volatile normal normal int a ha uh, yeah i'll make it as normal int a okay so 35 i have made and here uh what it does the code has done is the compiler has done is while running a, a copy is created so instead of updating in the a let's say this a is given in the memory of uh, in ram let's say 1 2 3 4 yes yes okay? fine yes but wherever this because this a is used multiple times in the program it yes. has created a cache memory called as a underscore c a c a g okay yes. and that cache address is uh, let's say 95 is a cache address oh, okay anything. so here when a equal to 35 is done then in 35 you your uh, this 95 address will be uh, put as 35 right and when a is read b value will be 35 plus uh, 3 so b value will be how much 30 38 8 right so yes. even though when this cache a cache copy is created the same value is taken then b is getting 38 only value so what's the problem you have in making the optimization even if it is optimized okay whenever a is written it is written to that cache only when it is read it is read from that cache only in what cases you don't want the cpu to read from this address and read from this address only in what scenarios i i will give you a scenario sham will be yes. keep on changing next uh, execution sham so for okay, example for here, here yes. you make it as a equal to a plus 5 okay okay then this value will be remaining as nothing it will update this a plus 5 this in this value uh, location of 95 only it will become it is of 35 it will become 40 and here b will be 43 if it has not created 95 also this 35 would be put in 1 2 3 4 a plus 5 u 40 also would be put in uh, 1 2 3 4 and it will be taken one from 1 2 3 4 address only this 40 would be taken and plus 3 43 would be done even if it is a is a cache copy is created or cache uh, copy is not created the value of b has not changed so what's the problem we have in the optimization of a to the cache address and it is becoming faster also so i want you people to give me a scenario where shifting from this 1 2 3 4 to this 95 is creating a problem and would fail it's not that when this 35 is put it will be put in 1 2 3 4 and whenever this a plus 5 is then it will be put in this 95 address it's not like that na where if it is optimized wherever a is used there a underscore cache will be replaced with that in the whole program not even in a single function wherever the scope of this a is there everywhere it will be replaced what is a scenario where you don't want it to replace with that and that's why you force that 
so we try to understand that what is the optimization meaning now right now come up with a scenario where that optimization is obstructing your functionality and then we will come up uh, think that how to stop that optimization and hence use a volatile keyword we are going in the right track guys clear na flow how we are going yeah we started with volatile what it does the textbook definition and then the word optimization came up what is the meaning of optimization we understood and it seemed to work pretty fine till now we have to come up with a scenario where this optimization is going to create a problem the point is optimization means a new copy of this variable will be created and wherever this variable is used in the program there is a keyword in the program everywhere in that place the copy will be used so as long as the program is running there is no problem now make a problem happen can i give a scenario mm hello sham in yes. case of sensor the value skips on uh, varies for every uh, every second yes. or every second in that cases uh, we Correct. need to so the, take the data actual data from sensor so we have to take the data from actual memory not uh, caches or Correct. any secondary memory correct exactly so what's the problem here can you define the problem statement you are 95% bullseye i want you to get the complete make a statement what is the problem you make a statement that will create the need for having the volatile keyword data processing will be uh, wrong because of that no 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 make a good statement guys what is the volatile you are applying property for for the variable so your statement should contain the term variable if the variable such and such happens problem happens something like that when do you use a volatile keyword one statement when the variable can change its value outside the scope of the program outside the scope of the software right when yeah. the variable value can change outside the scope of the program here when you make a equal to 35 then the value of a is changing or i can say this value of this memory wherever a is changing so the a is changing the scope is within the program a equal to a plus 5 u the variable value is changing within the scope of the program if i am having some way that the content of this memory is changed not by the program where i am not modifying the content of a right this somebody else will write in the uh memory of this the value of let's say here a equal to 35 is there and a equal to a plus 5 is become and in the outside by some other maybe sensors or maybe some other chip or maybe some interrupts i'm not talking about interrupt service routines interrupt service routines will come within the scope of the program but by some hardware part the value of this memory will be changed to 66 okay then this runs if i am making this line okay uh, if the int a if this line if int 
uh, if okay not int a. if a is uh, simple int okay then b will be equal to wherever a is there then a cache will be used that is how much 35 is there plus 5 so it became 40 here 43 it became right but if a is volatile int right then it is forced here and before b is getting computed so b will be how much 66 plus 3 b equal to 66 plus 3 equal to how much guys how much 69 <laughs> okay 69 so, yes 69 right so now I have created a difference before this memory or this a scope was not changing outside the software outside the program even if it is uh, a cache or normal a it did not have a problem the b value would never change now since I have created a scenario where the scope of changing of variable a and this memory is outside of the scope of the program the program execution has a impact if optimization is done then the program is we don't know what will be value of uh, b at all right so now here also there is one problem that if a value the 66 is written this is variable at this point if 66 is written here then b will be how much a plus 5u 66 plus 5u is 71 71 plus 3 is 74 74 all right or if a value is uh, is 66 written in here means in a right then b value will be 66 plus 3 will be 69 that's the problem right so what is the one more constant i'm going to put wherever the moment you make this as a volatile right in the function in a single function right i am not going to write it in the scope of this so in a single function in a single function the volatile variable will be either only Read or only written, right? And what is the one more thing we can tell about this volatile? Volatile is used for uh, when. Hardware interaction is there with the memory. Right? See, memory is having access by only two things, either by software or by hardware. If it is outside of the scope of software, then hardware has to there. So only when hardware has an interaction with the memory that is capable of changing memory and you want to have the way of accessing it, then what you will do? You will try to make it a volatile if it is intended right 
now we come to this uh, volatile and constant right now if i am having a variable let's say int x i'm having okay this will be given in a memory location will be allocated in this memory location if there is a possibility of modifying of this memory location by the hardware then i'll talk about the uh, format specifier uh, this uh, qualifiers qualifiers are volatile and const right when do we come across this possibility of variable memory change by hardware or outside the scope of software that is hardware if there is a possibility somehow that the uh, this one is changed right now if the hardware is not going to change uh, if hardware is going to change it uh, that i don't want anyone to change the content of this variable or memory location hardware also software also i want it the value to be unchangeable or unvariable then i'll go for const the memory value cannot be changed during run time you people all knew that when you are using a const to a, a, a qualifier to a variable that it will not change the value of this variable in the software but the new information is even by hardware you will not be able to change it that outside the scope of the software if because of some hardware it is trying to change the value of that memory address because this of this const it is not going to allow to the hardware also to change the content of that uh, memory right that is why i told that the what does the software what does the keyword constant going to do it is going to change the property of that memory to read only got it read only or no write <laughs> the no write thing does not apply only to software it applies to hardware also software and hardware so no changing of that memory value but if you are expecting the hardware to change the value of that memory address and if it's intended you want the hardware to change the value of that memory address and then use that changed value of the memory address only then you will go for volatile where you are know that the scope of this changing of this memory address where this variable is going to be stored is outside the scope of your uh software that is changed by hardware and it is expected it is intended and you want that then use volatile so that the optimization will not be done that is a copy will not be created and whenever the volatile keyword variable that is volatile int a if it is there wherever a is read then it is forced to read the value of this thing only okay now let us see an example of this volatile hello sham uh let me complete this one part then okay. we will open okay, for question. sorry okay so 
let us see this here what you are seeing in this function is a volatile keyword okay a volatile keyword p cancel mailbox this for a can controller and you are having that this p cancel this variable whichever is defined as volatile that one is made to point to this address this addresses hardware object handler this is for a can controller right how can controller happens you will be having your one second how it happens usually you are having your software part and your can controller is there and your can mailbox or the memory ram is there where your all hardware objects where all lpdus will be stored here so can driver code will be there and it will be polling so whenever can controller gets the frame then this hardware is going to take this can frame and make a lpdu and write it in the lpdu or in the ram can mailbox right so the writing of the memory location is happening outside the scope of your software by the hardware which is can controller which is a hardware it's happening so whenever you are trying to read what is the value of this frame the can id and the lpd whatever value the data and all those things this driver can driver whenever it has to read this thing it has to read this by a volatile keyword and that is what is happening in this so wherever it is trying to read this uh, whatever is given so this is a mixture can mailbox so cancel mailbox can mailbox so it is pointing to this so before that let me just show you that this is the underlying uh, infineon controller and this is the data user manual for that and this is memory maps in memory maps have come to this address maps what are the various addresses as what and what are the reserved for so this is a special function register kind of a thing for this address see that our address range is address value is f0018000 right so let me go to this table and here it starts with f000 ours is f0018000 right so f0014 next is the one so f0018000 this is the address which we have referred as a volatile in ours so this is a multi can controller that is a can controller right so that is where all your can mailbox things uh, is allocated where your multi can controller your can controller is going to write its uh, pdus whatever frame is received in that location so in the can driver it is trying to make it as a volatile keyword and trying to point it there and the hardware object handler and wherever this here reading of that is happening this mo mr mh and here uh, mo uh, message object ar arbitration high and low this is 32 bit uh, yeah these are 32 bit uh, uh, controller underlying controller but this variable is 16 bit so it is divided as high and low register so this is how it will be uh, can see and it is reading so whenever this read access is happening whenever this is happening it will directly take this value from corresponding structure of from this an optimization will not be done which will be written by the can controller so that's the meaning of this volatile because it is made as volatile it is in this by this address only so this is for all these drivers if you are going for drivers mainly there we will be using this volatile and there is a meaning of this volatile keyword so to summarize before coming coming to questions uh, if the scope of this memory or the scope of the change of variable is possible to go outside is possible to happen outside the scope of the software or outside the scope of the program then we are going to go for the qualifiers and qualifiers are constant and volatile if the 
variable can change its value outside the scope and it is intended like can be by interrupts can be by your can controller can be by your various register values changes can be by your uh, hardware memory uh, triggers dma so mainly in this driver part where it has to interact with the hardware directly you should understand that what is the underlying memory where you are trying to read just make it as a volatile and give it point it to there and try to read that so you will be able to get the latest value in the memory which can be updated from the hardware into the program and that is how the working will happen and if the uh, hardware does not have any way of updating the uh, that memory location then you don't have to worry about it don't go for the qualifiers itself and if you don't want even software to change that value hardware anyway cannot change the value but you don't want software also to change that value then also you'll go for const right so let us make three categories that uh, software hardware change no change right if software can change this value then normal variable right if hardware can change this and intended then volatile if software cannot change this you don't want software to change it then also const if hardware you also you don't want to change it then also const so in this for software and hardware both const are there whenever you are talking about const you don't talk about the scope of variable changing whether in the software or outside the software but there is a purpose of this const it just does not allow the variable to change but whenever you are talking about volatile and non volatile uh, volatile and not using volatile then you will talk about the scope of change of the variable hardware or software because there is a difference in this table so if you just keep remembering of this table and what volatile does and what constant does then whatever question posed to you related to qualifiers you can easily understand it uh, answer it so this is a part about my uh, uh sorry this is not type specific this qualifiers so that is a part about the qualifiers i have explained volatile and constant and now i open the uh, Panel for the questions. Thank you. Hello, Sham. Is there any uh, specific uh, memory allocated for uh, volatile and constant? Like, if if I use a constant, it will be stored in a text segment of memory. Like that, if I use volatile, is there specific memory for okay. keyword? So, if you don't mention any memory in your while using volatile, then uh it will the compiler itself will allocate some of the memory in its mind right so that doesn't make any sense so whenever you are using volatile you have to have a standard memory you have to mention a standard memory this memory whatever is there you are mentioning the memory right so it does not simply allocate like that so whenever wherever you are using volatile you explicitly mention what is the address of the memory you want it to point right and yeah. that should be uh, readable and if you see this is a uh, memory this memory location is uh, uh, not in the ram it's in a special function register of the flash but mm -hmm. since you are not writing here it's okay to read okay to make a volatile memory for this uh, adding to the same question i have one more question uh, yes. when we mentioned the specifier const or uh, volatile are we uh, uh, the uh, the compiler will be passing one more metadata or one more uh, some property to the uh, uh, i mean to the binary like it, it will be adding one more bi uh, metadata to the binary so that uh, just this optimization part will not be happening and that memory anyway hardware will be changing and whenever it is reading in the, uh, wherever that mnemonic is happening that 
converting compiler converting the dot i files to the dot as in the place of address that corresponding address value will be uh, only will be taking like if this is a pointing with volatile in the mnemonic like if add a here add a plus i is there right so yeah. in this place uh, if volatile was not used then in the mnemonic add uh some random one, uh, like uh, 90 for you i'm taking for my from our example only and uh, for you would have happened but because you have made as volatile and this is a volatile keyword it mm. does not take its own address so here always it will be forced to have one two three four uh, okay. so why did i not Tell about volatile. Whenever volatile and conscious coming, the assembler is going to take care. Linker is going to take care. No, it's compiler because compiler is the one which is changing the dot i files, the C syntax to the assembly level syntax, and that is where this volatile uh, keyword impact is going to happen. Even though underlying hardware and further underlying hardware anywhere, it is automatically taken care because it's not going to change its memory address. Okay. That's why compiler design has to take care of this and compiler has to take care of this. Yeah, it's answered my question. Thank you. Hello, Sham. I have one more. <laughs> yes. Uh, if you use uh, constant and alter together, how it will impact? If he, if I use a constant, alter, constant variable or only alter, constant. Like Okay, let me ask you a question. What will happen if I make char int a? Does it work? Why? Because this keyword also is a data type and this keyword is also a data type. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It is possible for me to have volatile Volatile uh, extern volatile short int a. It's possible to have this because yeah. this is a data type, this is a uh, type specifier, this is a qualifier, this is a storage class. Yeah. Why this is not possible? Data type, data type. A single statement cannot have two uh, of the same type, right? Similarly, const. What is this? Qualifier. Both are qualifiers. Is it possible? <laughs> no. You answered your own question. Good. <laughs> But somewhere I heard that uh, we can use both together. Exactly. And that will be handled by the compiler. In compiler, they design that which will take the precedence and they will take that part. Okay. So each then will be decided on which will be if both of them are coming together, then which will be possible. I have even seen compilers where this one is possible. Asham, once again, here it will be changes for the value or it will be uh, constant for the address. It's like constant volatile int a is there, right? Constant volatile int a. Yes. It's uh, a data type. What does the data type do? It will decide the memory, how much will be given for whatever value will be given here and how does that uh, value will be realized or makes made those things will be told by data type, right? Here, where volatile and constant, constant will ask that memory should not be able to uh, be modified. Volatile will make us that it is uh, variable will be uh, the where this one will be only hardware should be able to uh, means hardware should will be able, uh, will be changing the me memory address. So compare designer depending on their need they can decide. This can have one result like. Software will not be able to change the const part from this const part. Software should not be able to modify that part of the constant can be taken. And volatile part, 
the hardware will be so because of this statement the compiler may be designed in such a way that if you define in this way then a can be modified only by hardware and not by software okay it not reloaded for the, that particular uh, a values right if for example constant volatile int a is there so this is for uh, volatile it means it will be stored for some uh, particular memory location so it means constant uh, we are using the constant uh, volatile int a means a is not changed any values right yeah as yes, per your uh, uh, this code you can check once please okay <laughs> voice is not audible okay now let's remove the const and make just volatile now put the const one second right so the software is giving a problem here because the constant volatile has made sure that the software should not be able to modify this c if whatever address this c is pointing to if that is modified by hardware then this would have allowed that depends on compiler completely it has got nothing to do with uh, it is not standardized in the embedded c thing compiler design will decide on that i have also seen this uh, definitions so for this in this case you can answer like with this table in this constant has two purposes which part of the constant can be taken maybe this part of the constant and this part of the variable so if you in the software you want constant so that you make software should not be able to edit the value but in hardware it should be able to edit the value so you make it as volatile saying that the hardware is going to make the value and it is intended so it allows the hardware to make the changes then combining constant volatile will make sure that software will not be able to change the value hardware will be able to make change the value okay okay, okay guys i guess uh, that much is sufficient for today yeah and it was a good session i hope yeah really it is it was very good understand the embedded uh, um, the data types and the format specifier type specifiers and format specifiers and qualifiers everything we try to understand in the specs of embedded c so that's the main difference between the normal c programming classes and this embedded c series okay and yeah. the people who are uh, coming up for this taking the uh session also uh, along with the basic things please prepare with the in terms of embedded c also okay, okay. thank you good night thank everybody. you sham thank, thank you sham thank you sham thank sham